So to the more make some people understand, try to help some people to understand what go on between the trade man them and the customer them. Right? Um to be honest, in a lot of cases, it tore them a problem. Trust me, tore them a problem. The trade man them a problem and the customer them a problem. In some cases. Right? Alright. Me see the two side. Me see the two side. Alright. Me build get a house building in Jamaica and trust me, it was a headache. You have to be ready for headache when you are building a house in Jamaica. In my experience and in a whole heap of the comments that I get from my channel, people been through the same thing, right? So I know first and say, yo, enough of them builders here, yeah, I headache them, alright? So builder, nobody to start jump up and think if you're a good builder, you're a good builder, right? So, nobody to make a cap fit, right? So, so when it come down to um, customers them now, no five time the customer customers them say boy them well want a good trade man and when they get a good trade man they don't want to pay. A serious thing. Enough builders them know this. Enough trade man them know this. So the people them will get good workman and sometimes make you wonder if that's why the a good workman them must step down them work and not give them a good quality work no more because they not get good quality pay. Something to think about. Cause enough time me do work, and the people don't know up here, and the work not even expensive. Just me say so, it, it, it's it's something more you have to think about. So that's why me really come to the conclusion and say yo, a two side of problem, two side of problem. So we need fi we need to fix this thing. <laughs> me know say yo, you know you know really fix still cause not never really fix. When you come to Jamaica land right there, so it's not going to really fix, but listen, people when you find a good work man, pay the money man, come to agreement before you get the work done, I start, and when you come to agreement, it should be no problem after you come to agreement down. That you agree to the money, you agree to the work, and you get the work, and you do the work, and you do the work good, right? So it should not be a problem. But some people, when you go for the work, some people don't ask so much I charge. Enough time you go to plumbing work and you just start work and when you finish, you tell the person how much the fee, the fee will be. And that's where the problem come in right there. So. Because some people don't feel like say yo because they feel like you fix this, you come and you fix one bunch of something and each one of those things are different price. You know, just come and fix because you come you just charge one, one money uh, and you don't include those things. Even if you tell them one money, all of those things add up in one money. Lord God, them start ball. You start hear some ball in the yard. People don't understand, say, so you had to work. If a person asks you to change something at the toilet, in the tank at the toilet, and you have to take off that tank, right? You have to pull the two screws and pull up the tank. That tank slip out of your hand and drop and broke. You owe them one thirty thousand dollars that toilet. But them fees say if you come there and fix a couple things well, or five different something, and if you only collect one, one six thousand dollar, or one five, or one four. I see you still tell people. Some people don't know these things. So that toilet tank drop and broke. Thirty thousand, you have to go try if you find. Cause you're supposed to pay for it. If you drop it, you're supposed to pay for it. If you broke anything, you're supposed to pay for it. So I don't matter. I say yo, the, the customers them man, trust me, enough of time they're wicked, wicked like some of the work man them, and it make you think a lot of times like yo, listen, you have to stop have hard for people, and that's not good. And I say God make we feel have no hard for people man. If you have hard man, but when you do the work and you tell a person to work. Them should them should pay. Especially if you now go, you know, like I kill the people them with the price. But you are charge where you're supposed to charge. Because we plumber we might not know a price or something. And we call another plumber and ask him. So we are try, you know, try keep in range of the price. 
So that's how it goes. So as I said before, man, um, the two side of problem, two side of problem. And as I said before, not in every case, some people just pay them money and get the good work. You pay your money, get a good work. You keep a good plumber, keep a good trade man. It's not so you can recommend him to somebody else. Right? So that's my thought on that right there. Um, we just need to do the right thing. I hate that. Just do the right thing. Right? So this has been another video. Listen, more. I hear something in the comment section and tell me how to feel about what I say. Right? Um, yeah, man. Just tell me something, man. And give me a thumbs up on the video, man. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It's my say. And yeah, no more video. This is a different type of video. I always make something or I fix something or something. But that's something I always want to get out of my mind. I always talk about the cobbler workers them and the bad workmen them kind of bash them away but me never bash a, a customer them and trust me trust me me buck up on a whole heap of customers where a bashing no nah, lie a bashing trust me so yeah man big up my people them man and respect and thank you all for watching